It takes 586 eternal seeds to fully rank up a great tree of wisdom, but that's not the whole story. Let's do some math. Only, it's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, Heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central. In this video, we're going to figure out exactly how many eternal seeds that you're going to need. Quick disclaimer, we're going to talk about the seven-day kickoff event, but since that's not going to be available for everyone and you may not have completely finished off that event, I don't want to include it, but I do want to mention you can get 29 eternal seeds total from that event. Additionally, there will be events in the future, I'm sure, that will provide you with eternal seeds. And there is the one-time quest to rank up the ascension tree of your heroes to give you eternal seeds as well. Keep in mind that those numbers will play into the total. But if we ignore all of that, I want to figure out exactly how many eternal seeds that we need. So thanks to Loadrunner, we found a nice little spreadsheet providing us with how many of each resource that we're going to need. Ancient Wisdom Crystals and Eternal Seeds to rank up your various roles, tank, healer, support, all of that, all the way up to rank 50. And you can see here at the very bottom, it's going to take 586 eternal seeds to fully max out a tree, plus, you know, 47,400 of the ancient wisdom crystals. Right now, in the game, the way that you can get eternal seeds each week, again, not counting all of that other stuff, is by defeating the boss. You can see that defeating a level 150 boss earns you 10. There is a level 160 boss that will earn you one more, so you can get a total of 11 per week if you can clear the level 160 boss each week. And there is a single eternal seed for getting 10 million damage in a boss fight. The main reason why I wanted to do this video, you know, anybody can go and add this up themselves but i wanted to pay attention to do we really need this one eternal seed and why why does that matter if you look at the damage rewards the rewards for five million are one of each of the main stats you get a greater resilience insignia a greater wisdom insignia and i'm not sure if these rotate each week or if it's the same to each week i guess we'll find out here in a couple of days but the jump from five million to ten million damage is just this one eternal seed so i wanted to figure out i wanted to figure out exactly how long it would take you if you did not get this 10 million piece every week if or whatever you were in a selfish guild that just blasted the lower level bosses before you even woke up and had a chance to attack with your not boss optimized team taking a look back at this spreadsheet that load runner provided and if you'd like to check this out yourself please join my discord it is in the city of asgard discussion channel it's uh, pinned there. You can go check it out for yourself. If you were to earn 11 per week by just defeating the level 160 boss, but not getting 10 million personally yourself, it'll take you 53.27 or roughly 54 weeks. If you did 12 per week, because you were able to not only defeat the level 160 boss, but also deal 10 million damage, it would take you 48.83 weeks uh, or rounding up 49 weeks, which is a five week or slightly more than one month difference. It will take you 54 weeks or 49 weeks to completely finish one of these tree branches. Again, if we're not counting the event, any other events that may happen in the future, the Astral Seer getting you lucky, or any of the one-time quests in that in that quest log, which will give you a couple as well, so five weeks. Taking it one step further, it's gonna take us 4,102 Eternal Seeds in order to max out all seven branches. And let's take a look how long that will take us if we're only doing 11 per week versus 12 per week. If we looked at the total, how many Eternal Seeds is gonna take us to rank up every single one of the seven trees of wisdom. It's going to take us 4,102. We have the math on screen now for 11 per week versus 12 per week. We have 373 weeks versus 342 weeks, a difference of about 29 weeks. 7.25 months is the difference. We've answered a couple of questions here in this video. We know that it's going to take us 586 eternal seeds to level up one branch completely, 4,102 to level up all seven of the branches, plus 331,800 ancient wisdom crystals, which you'll, you know, earn naturally. If you cannot get to 10 million because your guild is selfish or whatever reason, if you cannot get the 10 million damage each week, counting this week, it's going to take you a little bit more than seven months in order to catch up to those people that are dealing 10 million damage every week. One thing that can offset this completely is this Astral Seer. For the grand prize, you get 10. While we don't know what the percentage chance is to get this grand prize, if we can get one of these per year, it will make up the difference between the two. Now, obviously, you can still get one of these per year and also do the 12 per week, and you'll be that much further ahead. And the same can be said for the, you know, the total amount, the 4,102 that you need. You can get a couple of these over the course of the seven years that it's going to take to rank up all seven of these trees. Wow, that's a really long time guys it's, it's a really long time you really need to be focusing on a specific tree this is obviously the resource that we're going to have the most finite of uh, in all of hero wars facebook and web it's a really good thing that the total stats you get from leveling up these trees isn't that game breaking it'll be much easier to decide on which of the various roles you should level in first but you should all take notice that 
this will take you seven years. If you're not careful, it will take you seven years to rank up all seven of the trees. Six and a half to seven years, actually. And then, of course, hopefully you're going to get lucky with the Astral Seer on occasion, uh, as well as the occasional event that we're going to get from Nexus. Probably, I don't know, once a year, once a quarter. I don't know how often they're going to do it. It was a little while before we got our first pet event. And I would imagine that, like that event, we'll probably start seeing one of these about once a quarter, as well as having discounts on this as well. So uh, I hate math. I'm sure you guys do too. But now you know. Now you can tell your friends. I know how many Eternal Seeds it's going to take. I don't know why you would tell your friends that, but in case they asked, there you go. On screen now, we've got a video discussing the absolute best team right now to fight the boss, at least in week one. Will it be for week two? I don't know. I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.